Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering the absolute basics of rendering. So what is rendering in Blender? It basically means whatever your camera sees, you're going to take that, either export that as a video or as an image. That's the absolute basics of like the philosophy behind what rendering is. Now to get to a render, right, to actually decide what you're going to render, there's something up here called render. There's a little menu. When you click that, you're going to get a bunch of different options. Just ignore the render audio for now. Um, render image and render animation are the two main things you're going to be focused on. So when you click one of those, Blender is going to say, okay, which camera is active? What are we looking at? And how in the world do we turn this into an image? That's basically what's happening behind the scenes. So if I was to click render image right now, Blender would say, oh, I see the cube. Okay, let's give you the image of the cube. That is exactly what the camera sees that is what you're going to get. Now you have this image up right here, right? There's a little window. It says blender render, right? Which is basically the result of your render to save this image. You can click on this little image button right here and you're going to get all these different options. I usually do like save as I'll just select where I want to save it. I'll just name it cube and then I'll click on save as image. And just like that, you have made your first render. Now let's say you have a little bit of movement in your scene just for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm just going to give this, a location keyframe, go to frame 20, move it over here, and insert another location keyframe. Now, if you guys play this back from frame zero to 20, you can see our cube is moving. Now, I'm gonna just show you a little bit more of an advanced part of rendering, which is like your output settings. So over here on the right, you're gonna see this little button that looks like a printer. That is your output properties. Right here, you have your resolution. As you guys can see, when I adjust this, it's going to change the size of what the camera sees. That is the dimensions of your image. Now under here where it says frame range, go ahead and click on that. You're gonna see frame start and frame end. That is basically where your animation starts and where it stops. So when you click render animation, it's going to say, oh, from frame one to 250, that is what I'm gonna turn into a video for you. That's what Blender is thinking right behind the scenes. In our case, I'm gonna choose 20 for our end frame. And as you can see on the bottom here, this little timeline, if I zoom in, I'm scrolling to zoom in here. Um, one to 20 is where our animation is taking place. If I go ahead and pr press spacebar, you'll see that this is our animation right here. Now, at the moment, this is very, very basic, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to export this. So if you guys go up to the top, render, and you click on render animation, this is actually going to go ahead and render this as a video. We don't wanna do that. The reason we don't wanna do that is because if for some reason our render fails midway through, we are pretty much screwed. So the reason I say that guys is if your render does not complete, you will not have a video. This is why I always export as a PNG sequence. So right under your output settings on the right hand side here, you're gonna see that there is a folder already pre-selected for you called the temp folder. I am actually going to choose my desktop and make my own folder called output frames. And I am going to go ahead into that folder and click on accept. Now, another thing you guys can do is you can just name your if you guys click on that folder again, you can just name this output frames one or whatever you want, click on accept. And then when you export this, right, when you go to render animation, Blender is now going to go through every single frame and export every single frame from one to 20. Now, if we go to our desktop and we open up that folder, you'll see 20 different images. Now, this probably doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Kenny, I thought we were exporting to video. Hear me out guys, you're going to take these frames, put them back into Blender in what is called an image sequence, which I have an entire tutorial on on my YouTube channel, and you will turn those into a video. So that is the absolute basics of rendering. Now let's say your scene was super simple and you were pretty positive, it wouldn't crash when you clicked render animation. In that case, I will change my file format to um, pretty much any video format. Typically people are using FFmpeg video, and then under your encoding, absolutely do not use Matroska. I have no idea why that even exists. You're gonna to wanna to click on that drop down and click on MPEG-4, and you guys can adjust the other qualities as needed. I typically choose high quality, and then for my video codec, I do H.264, that's like the standard. Click on render animation. Now what's gonna happen now is it's going to um, render the same frames, but in this case, it's going to create a video for you. So if you go back to that original folder, our video is right here. See this, this is your video and the rest are just frames. And if you double click that, you guys can see our animation. And it looks really, really good. The only last thing I'll go over really quickly is the frame rate. 
which is right here. Right now we're at 24 frames a second. You guys can choose whatever you like. Um, a lot of people do 24 frames a second or 30, or if you want that really buttery, crispy, uh, smooth motion, you can do 60 frames a second. Um, just keep in mind when you do this, the more frames a second that you have, the longer it's gonna take to render. So keep that in mind as you guys are creating your animations. That is the absolute basics of how you render out an image and how you render out an animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Drop any comments below if you guys have questions, and I will talk to you in the next tutorial.